Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Wungani Ndlovu and I'm here to answer a few of your YouTube questions. Hashtag gotta ask YFM. So, let's get straight into it. We have at Robin Oceans, how to remain consistent with content creation? How often should we post videos to remain relevant? So now that's really dependent on you. Um, YouTube does have an algorithm that you want to kind of follow in order for your videos to do well and for your channel to do well so you want to learn about the algorithm but aside from that you want your subscribers to kind of anticipate when your next video is coming so that they like get excited so for example on the Glovers Uncut which is my YouTube video with my wife we post every Friday at 1 p.m. so by Wednesday Thursday our subscribers are itching for the next video which is coming on Friday so that's just kind of how we've orientated how we do what we do but some people don't even have like a regulated day like every single Friday we're gonna post some people just post randomly um, and that works for them some people post on a daily basis and that works for them so you wanna decide for yourself what it is that you're trying to build what it is that you're pushing what it is that you're focused on um, so that you can find a strategy around that so that it's not just based on oh Hungani does it like this so I'm gonna do it like that but because maybe you want to do makeup um, tutorials and maybe you want to do things for Wednesdays do that and then people will know that every Wednesday he or she is going to drop a makeup tutorial. So it's just really dependent on you. Next question. At 21st Century MXN, what do you use to edit videos? What free video editors can I use? Sorry about the dogs in the background. I really like sitting outside in the mornings. Um, so video editing software. There's a lot of free software that you can find online as well as like apps on phones. So I use Video Leap on Steph's phone because that's just kind of works for us. And um, that's what we use to edit all of our YouTube videos and other content. Um, I mean, we even did a short film on Video Leap. So it really works for me. Um, some people don't like it. They think it's tedious. So you just really need to find what you find comfortable um, and what you're willing to learn because all of these things you'll definitely have to learn about. So yeah, Video Leap, it, it, it works for us. Well, for me, because I did the editing. Tavang Makua asked the importance of camera quality for beginners since they don't have all equipment and the entry camera one can use to begin. So it's really dependent on, firstly, what you currently have. So if you have a smartphone, like right now, I'm shooting this on a smartphone on selfie mode. The quality looks pretty all right. If you have a um a camera that maybe you think it when you wanted to do photography like i do i bought a camera five years ago that's what we're using we're using our smartphones and we're using this camera which is a canon 750d which i got five years ago. um the the this whole thing of like needing to get expensive equipment and lights and all of that yeah like it does help as you go on for the quality of your your videos and stuff but if you watch most youtube channels and you like go back in history to when they started you'll see that the quality wasn't so great so don't really make that your benchmark like ah let me wait until i have this camera or let me wait until i have x y and z to start the channel start it with what you have um, a lot of people actually appreciate seeing the growth of people um, like watching you grow like oh my gosh remember when he first started or when she first started this is this is how they page look this is how their videos look but look at it now like this is so amazing um those type of things actually also help to inspire people so don't just think that you have to wait until you have a certain camera um in terms of what's like an entry level camera i honestly wouldn't be able to answer that i do know that for vlogging there's a canon and a sony i don't know their names but their average price is about 12 to 14,000 Rand. I'm not looking to buy that, but if that's something you're interested in, go for it. Um, but I would highly suggest that you also YouTube actually go onto YouTube and um, type in the search in the search bar like what what equipment does one need to start a YouTube channel. There's a lot of lot of YouTubers that YouTube on that topic. Um, I watched quite a few wasn't interested in some of the stuff but some of the stuff did help like getting a tripod to hold up my phone which is what's happening right now so there's like those type of things but don't think you have to buy the most expensive stuff i hope that kind of helps then we have 
Tabza Ramasimong. I heard that YouTube can pay you if your video reaches 10,000 views. Is this true and in which terms and conditions do you get paid? So it's not really about the amount of views that your video gets. It's more about the amount of hours or minutes that you have people watching your video. So you can have 10,000 views, but that's because someone clicked and opened your video, right? But if your video was 30 minutes long and they only watched five minutes, it doesn't translate the same way. So you can have 10,000 views, but if people only watched five minutes of your 30 minute video, five minutes times 10,000 will give you an X amount. So you want to be able to kind of create content that will be interesting and engaging enough for people to watch most of your video, at least 65% of your video. That will generate more income for you because you have to reach 4,000 hours a month of views within um, your channel. So if you're not reaching that, then you're not even making money. And then on top of that, you need to make at least a thousand rand within a month to get paid. So it, there's, there's quite a few things that you need to reach in order to get paid. Um, I would highly suggest that you Google some YouTube tutorials on monetization so that you can get um, an even broader understanding because I can't give that to you right now. And then we have Mpo Madila. How to create an account. Very basic. Go to Google, type YouTube, it will open up. Um, and then you kind of go to the top right and you click on your little icon there for your Gmail account or whatever account you have. And then it will give you options. But other than that, I highly suggest that you YouTube how to create a YouTube channel because then you'll have a full on, in fact, you'll have options of tutorials that can help you create your page from start to finish. Um, help you with the look of your page, with the feel of your page, themes on your page, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a very basic question that you're asking and it's kind of like the first question that one would ask and I highly suggest that you go on to YouTube, the platform that you're trying to create on to find out from other YouTubers because that's exactly what we did. Um, at some point, we'll probably create a video on our channel and Clover's Uncut to also kind of explain how we created our channel but I think it's a little too soon for us right now because we're still learning. Yeah. Um, Tsepiso... Lindy Buche. I want to know what content can attract audiences and what can one do to be a video influencer. What content can attract audiences? Look, there's so many things out there and there's so many people and also YouTube is a global platform. So like these people who are interested in anime there's people who are interested in gaming people are interested in makeup cars like there's so many different things um you need to find what it is that you're like passionate about like what it is that drives you and what it is that you want to share with people and then you will be able to create from an authentic place which will get you authentic subscribers, authentic viewers, and people that actually really want to engage with you. Because when you're just creating stuff for the sake of creating for getting clout and for people to watch, but it's actually not something that you enjoy and something that you're passionate about, then it's pointless. Um, then I wouldn't suggest it because it's not a YouTube is not as easy as people make it out to be. Um, it's it's actually very taxing and when you are doing something you enjoy it makes the difficulties a lot more enjoyable so i would say find out what it is that you're passionate about and that you want to share with people and go for that um how to become a video influencer um i wouldn't necessarily be able to answer that because i'm not to show what a video influencer is as I do not um, associate myself as a video influencer um, but if you're saying YouTube influencer then I would say you need to have a, a YouTube channel um, have a substantial amount of subscribers um, have a substantial amount of views on your page in terms of hours and also engagement with your audience with your subscribers um, within the comment section in terms of likes and sharing and all that kind of stuff so that will help you become a YouTube influencer so that other brands can think oh cool um, they have 
a hundred thousand subscribers and their engagement is about 35 percent so that's quite a good channel to work with stuff like that um i hope that kind of helps we have at k god 12 why does one need to subscribe what does it help with well subscriptions help with growing the channel and also it kind of gives you a guaranteed amount of views on your videos when you drop them it's like having a loyal viewership on a certain channel for a certain show whether it's a soapy or drama or whatever the case is so subscribers helps with because like when i post my video or our video on then drove was uncut with over 130,000 subscribers thank you so much for those of you who are subscribers um with over 130,000 subscribers that gives us 130,000 people who our video will show up on their home page aside from needing to search for our video and all of that kind of stuff at least 130,000 people will be exposed to our video when it drops so it just kind of helps with that because not 130,000 are gonna watch that video there's some subscribers who subscribe but they're not active you know it's just but it just helps with generating more interest for your channel basically and obviously it also helps with um, revenue and being able to monetize your page um, but we'll get to that um, there's a there's a question we'll, we'll get to that um, at prince at prince crucifix at prince crucifix do do we get paid if we reach 1k or more views so it depends um so you get paid actually when you reach over a thousand rand in a month so that also depends on um how many hours you've reached in terms of um views within that month because there's a criteria i think it's about four thousand hours or something um so you want to make sure that you're posting on a regular basis so that people can be watching your content or else if you don't reach the required amount of hours of viewers um, of viewing then you won't be eligible for payment also if you don't reach the threshold of a thousand rand in a month you won't get paid so you can make 800 bucks but you won't get it because you didn't reach the threshold which is a thousand rand um, so yeah it's not really about how many views you get but the hours of views that you're getting because people can tune into a video that is maybe 40 minutes long but only watch the first five minutes and then go do something else so out of that 40 minute video that you have they only watched five minutes so you haven't even reached the, the required amount of hours in order to start getting paid so it's important to have more people that are watching your content and to have interesting content so that people can follow through and watch the whole thing whether it's 30 minutes whether it's 10 minutes that way you know cool out of 100 people 60 watched the whole 10 minute video so if you times 10 minutes by 60 then you'll get however many hours or however many minutes so it's more about the hours that it's been viewed than how many views you have at sean tgmail.com one how do you create your own profile where can you send videos and stuff on youtube so i'd highly suggest that firstly you do research um, because this is a very uh, basic question that you're asking and if you literally just google how to start a youtube channel you will see kind of like a step-to-step -step process and if you don't see it on google there's a lot of youtube tutorials that teach you on how to create a youtube channel and i myself followed that when we were starting the globe was uncut because it's a new space that we're in and we weren't too familiar with it so we had a lot to learn but I, I encourage you to to research these things because it it's actually a I I can't answer you in in this space and time it, it took me a couple of hours to fully understand how to create a channel how to load stuff up what do I need to do in order to be able to reach a certain algorithms um, format and all that kind of stuff so I would highly suggest that you go on to YouTube and um, check out some tutorials on how to start or how to create a YouTube channel that would be definitely helpful at Leslie Pillay 2 hi guys how do I make my alter ego <laughs> I have tried but it was not good also I want to get my YouTube page re reorganized um, alter ego so that really is dependent on you um, I myself am not really 
one in fact myself and Steph we're not people that like do the whole alter ego thing we are who we are and that's that's what it is so it really depends on you I know people who have alter egos um, but that the onus is on you because you're the one who knows you like the not alter ego so then it's up to you to create who's the alter ego or what is the alter ego no one else can create that for you um, that's just my opinion and in terms of reorganizing your page well do it there's there's nothing stopping you from doing that cool